hi guys welcome back to new xd tutorial so today we are going to learn how to create this very cool 3d menu animation inside adobe xd using adobe xd new update 3d transform so let's get started with the tutorial we are using web 1920 artboard we add this gradient and now we will create first our nav bar we will type t and we will say in a brand space name let's remove the 3d now we change it to around 40 pixels we make the brand to be Bold. that's perfect we will put it right around here on 40 pixels from upward and 50 pixels from left side now we need to create our hamburger menu we will create it very easily i will go for around 15 pixels in height and around 100 pixels width make sure you remove the border now we need to duplicate it three times this is two times and the difference around eight pixels should be nice we'll make this one a little small and we'll select all of these and give it a radius of around 10 is much higher 5 pixels is around 7 pixels that's great control y to show layers control g and this is our hamburger I'm gonna group this too. This is our logo. I'm gonna control G and call it nav bar. Now we are going to select our rectangle tool and create a rectangle of the same size as our artboard. Remove the border. Duplicate it two more times. Three. This one will be our cover one cover one and this is cover two you will see this very shortly this is our background we already have our background setup here what we need to do we need to duplicate the background one more time and we need to give it a color of around something like courage that's perfect and now we need to change its blend mode to multiply that's perfect now we need to change its name to overlay select this and call it background background we need to put our nav bar above everything now we need to add our manual links here let's say home and now I duplicate it here home um, six in total that's perfect home about services let's call it portfolio join join now and c o n t a c t contact that's perfect we need to select all of these oh, so i'm sorry we need to select only the text layers and we need to change around i think 20 pixels now that's much Low 
30 pixels would be great we need to group them and change name to lab links put them in center vertically and put them behind everything now add more text and we will save our main text f u t u r e future is here bold dot and we need to change font weight to black we are using the reporto font you can find it easily on and google fonts shift c and shift m to center and change its size to 55 and again press shift t c and shift m now we need to this yeah it's fine and now we want 20 pixels and change it to regular i will go to plugin i think i have this plugin called lorem something where it is yes lorem ipism to generate some random text uh, insert text here um, like this what we need to make it um, bigger than our heading to give it a proper look now we'll add our text again that's perfect i think if we center it no the left align is perfect but the term will so much text that we don't need so we will reduce the height that's perfect and center it yes it's perfect and now we need to create a button around 80 pixels of height and 250 pixels of width that's perfect now make it radi radius and 40 pixels change the color we will go for nice blue color something a little bit light that's perfect add it here text will say re read more and we are gonna center it with our text control g and we are gonna call it our button btn button and center it shift c shift that's perfect i think size 30 pixels is much 25 pixels better and center it again that's perfect i think our for now it's okay i think we need to show let's see it's perfect button we have our button our nav bar should be on top then we have our button btn i think i got it wrong bt and now that's perfect now we need now everything else is perfectly all right but everything that gonna move in 3d we should be in a group so we don't accidentally touch other groups call it our call it our data now duplicate the artboard oops no one second now duplicate this artboard select this artboard over data make it 3d add the z index of round minus 700 don't worry it will be okay and add the y rotation 20 pixel that's perfect what we need to do now we need to go to over cover one and we need to in make it size a little bit larger than our 
background will just like that but we need to make sure it's only visible on its back side we need to change its color to something a little darker but with around 50 pixel let's say if we add object blur uh, no copy this and control v for our cover to control paste it on cover 2 and also make it a little bit much larger place it a little bit down then over cover 1 but make it behind over cover 1 and that's perfect but we need to change this color if we copy control C color 1 and hit control alt v i don't know it's not working so we have to select our color from here and if we select our background yep that's working perfectly i think it's nice we don't need to change anything else just make them i think that's fine let's let's prototype it before prototyping i think we need to animate this also so we will select this hamburger make it all the way back and reduce its opacity back to zero and for this i will change its rotation of z to 45 degree and this upper one will be changed to minus 45 and we will make it centrally align with to make our complete hamburger animation now to prototype let's go to prototype or hit alt f2 then now on clicking on this hamburger here our hamburger it will take us to sorry it will take us to this artboard tab on we will on tab function around 0 0.6 with no easing and change it to auto animate we need to do the same process here go back to previous artboard 0 0.6 and now make it like this and let's play it working perfectly but we need to make sure that we copy over cover to go here over data in our cover to we will paste control alt v Thing. if we select this and we go to libraries and select this color here and this over cover this and also select this now it's working perfectly we need to go back to our cover one our libraries here make it this control y cover two libraries again and select this characteristic now let's play it again that's working perfectly all right but you also need to go again over and over what we need to go to over nav links and reduce its opacity back to zero now let's hit yes it's working perfectly now
what we can do is that we can select our nav links and change its position towards right side increasing x position and now it will look like like it they are appearing from the right that's very nice i'm sure you like this tutorial if you like give a big thumbs up and support this channel to learn more on adobe xd